Traffic control, this is Alpha 254, requesting clearance for departure. Roger that, Mark Lee, proceed to runway 5. Alpha, I'm going to send you the summer. Alpha, I'm going to send you the summer. Alpha, I'm If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. Freight train. Good, you're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Unless I'm still drugged, I don't think we've met. Mina. And the static on the screen is interference, not the drugs. Too bad. Static's a good look for you. Subtle. Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Mike, the door's locked down. But you might be able to find a way to break the glass. OK. 
case of emergency. That did it. Go. Guess Sleeping Beauty's had enough. That you, Mike? You just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can.
to the line, Mike. Give it up. All right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to keep the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you get kidnapped and questioned. You could use some lessons in hospitality. I'll forgive you, this time. Gracious of you. So this is how the conversation is gonna go. You, me, video screen. Yep, I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests. Then you and I can talk, face to face. That make you feel better? No, but some morphine might. Or whatever cocktail you shot into my system. What the hell was that? That's classified. Although I didn't expect you to shake it off so quickly. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file makes you seem more like a tourist than an agent. Your passport must have been stamped twice over. The stamps are just for show. I can't confirm or deny I was ever in any of those places. Nor were there any witnesses. Well, I hope you like going where it's hot. And I'm not talking about hell, but someplace close to it. I thought I was already there. Spoken like a man who doesn't care about his career. Good. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. All right. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon.
Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. Asshole Parker's gonna be checking the system again. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm gonna be running you through tech orientation. Sounds good. So you've been with Alpha Protocol for a while? Sure have. Although you seem to have gotten my next assignment. No hard feelings, I hope. Are you kidding? All right, that should be the last of the setup on my end. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or were too busy beating up some more guards. Neither. Just surveying the area, actually. Checking out the facility. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. All right, everyone's favorite. Grin. Aids. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start chucking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. All right, now how about something more challenging? Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Try and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Ah, never get tired of that one. Now, see that electronic lock there? Use your EMP grenade to shut it down. 
can save you time in the field. It's shut down. There's no more lock. All right, see that locker there? Let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Just in time. Hey, Darcy, open up. Guess some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. You know those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush. Or just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Just give me a first shot at them. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. You looking to give it another shot, Mikey? Maybe some other time, Darcy. I just want to get out of here and get my assignment. You're lost, then. I thought you might be scared. I mean, I don't really blame you. It's a big world out there, full of risks. I'm not scared, Darcy. I'm bored. If this is all you've got to teach me, then I need to move on anyway. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? As much as I thought was necessary. Good. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I can't let you train me if I don't put you through the paces too. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Got your evaluation back on the tech portion of your training. Looks like Darcy went the usual route with new candidates. Even so, I suggest a refresher course, either here or on the field. These numbers aren't good. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. And the women, of course. I'm not sure we need a cowboy. You need someone, or I wouldn't be here. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. You guys should already have a gauge of how I can help. All this training's been fun, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, if you're not gonna lie, then you're not much use to us. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. 
Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're gonna discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? And if I compromise an asset in the field by choosing the wrong path? No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. What, like stalling for time? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. And if they're a target, why talk to them at all? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know how someone wants to be treated? At least, enough to cooperate. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Mostly stop signs, which I ignore. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses, like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit, and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. Can we skip the pep talk? I want to get started. Fair enough. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That's Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Halbeck? I've run across them while I was touring the world. They don't exactly keep their hands clean. How did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. You know where he is? No, but that'll be part of your mission in the Middle East. Find the missiles, then find him and take him out. You don't want him taken alive? If he cooperates, sure, bring him in. On the off chance he tries to kill you, 
then put a bullet in his head. I'll put my years in charm school to use. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. I made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guess that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Full security system? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. There's also a weapons locker in the main living area. Open it up, help yourself, but use the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home.
get in without a firefight, that makes getting to Nazri that much easier. American. Nazri said nothing about an American. I'm not looking to advertise my presence, only to do business. Business, eh? Check with Nazri if you don't believe me. He's waiting for me, and my down payment. <laughs> I call ahead. Go on through. Looks like they figured out I was bluffing. Nazri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. for alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. I'll keep an eye out.
fuck up a lot of stairs. Found a way into the palace. Good. Going to be hot in there. Careful, Mike. Nice collection. Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use. At the palace. The exit's in the corner. 
opposite the entrance. Try to get to it without getting killed. Careful, Mike. Nasri's got to be nearby. There's no other exits from the palace. He's right here. He's got nowhere to run. This should be quick. Give me a sec. You? Who are you? A businessman. You come all this way to do business? You blow up my merchandise. Kill my men. They're not big on conversation. I'm looking for a shipment of Halbeck missiles. Hand them over, and we both walk out of here. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold to who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news, if he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? 
That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money, you? guns, yours, if you let me go. I'll take the cash you made on the sales here, and the account number to the Saudi Holdings you think no one knows about. It'll save me from having to hack the file. Saudi Holdings? But The cash and the account code. I, I get you both. Here, I, I transmit to you. Uh, number check out, see? Good. Now get out of here before the Marines show. Are you sure about this, Mike? Yeah. If we just let him go without a bribe, he would have smelled a trap. Ah. Uh. I want him scared, not paranoid. And a little extra cash might prove useful later on. Fair enough. Search the room. See what you can find.